I'm probably not the only one that feels this way, but I kind of get the feeling that priorities are a little bit out of whack at the moment. <laughs> Officially stated from a Dragon Ball official Twitter post, they said that concerning custom battle mods in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, appropriate security measures will be taken against those who use any mod system within custom battle. We recommend you delete any custom battles containing mods immediately to avoid a ban. Please note that our support team can't address any issues or appeals caused by the use of mods. We appreciate your understanding and continued support for the game. I mean, <laughs> there's still a rampant issue when it comes to rage quitters online, and at the very least, I don't care whether or not rage quitters get banned or whatever. I would rather they make it so that if somebody does rage quit, it gives the person that did not rage quit the points for the match, especially in DP battles. Those things can go on for quite some time, man. And it's a big time investment to go through, especially if it's a 5v5 setting where a lot of people will be running to time. And as soon as the timer starts going off, the rage quitter will just leave. They get no penalties whatsoever. But we also wasted time and did not get any points out of that. So it sucks, especially for those that are just trying to climb rank and enjoy the online environment, which is kind of shit right now. <laughs> and just to specify, this is specifically stating that custom battle mods in particular are the ones that are going to be getting, well, subjecting you to possibly being banned. And that actually is due to the whole Gohan Black thing. For those that aren't aware, uh, there is a what if scenario where if Gohan kept up his training, he became, well, still was the strongest of the Z fighters. He actually ends up replacing Goku Black. It's actually Gohan Black, which I always thought was a way better direction to take the story, but it's actually Gohan Black. And there's a what if dedicated within Dragon Ball Sparking Zero for all of that, if you guys haven't played it yet. So cool enough, when you actually get to this part of the story, you actually can fight against Gohan Black as Gohan. And uh, modders were actually able to access the game's source files and find that Gohan Black was a technically playable character with voice lines and unique attacks and stuff. Well, it's mostly just Goku Black's attacks, but still voice lines unique to those attacks. And we're able to actually put them in a custom battle to allow you to play as the character. This is an actual custom battle. You can go ahead and look it up and play it. I think they actually might've removed this one, but just to show you guys right here, it is possible. This is Gohan Black. You can play as him and he has unique voice dialogue. But when it comes to mods, it seems like this is actually a point of emphasis that they're trying to make is that if you're trying to mod things that are within the custom battles, which it goes onto their particular servers and it's like you actually going into the game's files and what they said, I think was illegally obtaining game source files. That's an issue. However, skin mods like the Bojack Trunks or the Bojack Gohan or any other skins in particular seem to be just fine to go online with. It's specifically talking about custom battle mods and those that are using that to mod the system within custom battles. Straight up, I find it frustrating that this is their focus that they're actually driving a lot of attention to. Yeah, I totally get it, but there's still a lot of other issues plaguing the game right now, specifically within an online environment. And in my opinion, we're worthy of a ban. <laughs> And guys, we are still giving away a Sparking Zero PC Deluxe Edition Steam version of the game. All you gotta do is be subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when we go live to give away that copy. And I think because we've taken a little bit too long to give away the first one, we'll be giving away multiple. So yes, uh, we'll be giving away two copies of the game. All you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out the stream, and we will be giving it away live. If your name is called, we'll give you about 20 minutes to come through and accept it. If not, we'll be re-rolling again and trying to find a new winner but we'll be giving away two copies of the game again my fault for taking so long life's just been pretty hectic but we're gonna go ahead and get things rolling help raise at 38 percent even higher and now let's get back into the video one thing i would like to see them do in the future is if they are okay with mods in that sense why not make it a system that way you can actually access within the steam workshop use the steam workshop in order to implement mods into the game in a more official sense because mods on the steam workshop still have to be approved in some way and i feel like that would be a good middle ground for the developers and fans to meet because i get how reading this and i'm seeing a lot of people on twitter a lot of people on social media are actually misconstruing this message they're interpreting it as a use of any mods mods in general but the official tweet here specifically says it's concerning custom battle mods in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I don't think this is actually going to be affecting people that are using mods to go online and play a specific characters via skin. Now, if you're using mods that are completely change in the game, like you're giving different moves to characters, you're actually affecting stats or anything of that nature, obviously that's a big no-no and you will probably get in trouble for that. So be careful. Don't do that. Don't be a shit. 
And actually, since this post was made, there's still no word on whether or not, or when, I guess, the next patch will be that will be addressing those other things that they talked about mostly in part due to the uh, rage quitting situation and people taking advantage of no penalty existing for that system and i think the biggest thing too is as well is the fact that xbox has not been functioning at all i've seen some tweets from people where they said that the recent patch seemingly fixed elements within connectivity when it comes to xbox but i've been seeing way more comments saying that actually nothing was fixed and that people still can't find matches there's still communication errors across not just xbox but also some pc players are running into that too i'm also still getting those disconnect issues when i'm playing on pc and certain ultimates or certain attacks are happening or a match is supposed to end it'll actually just completely boot out of steam that's so weird that it's still an issue i just wish the priorities were there man i feel like it's weird that at this point in gaming in general especially in a fighting game when you're gonna have online ranked matches and stuff why are there no penalty systems in place for people that will be rage quitting or cheesing in that way i feel like it's inevitable it should be something that isn't hard to implement and should already be within the game on launch it's not something that i think should take a month or a couple weeks after the game releases because now you're getting to the point of sparking zero's life where the hype has seemingly died down people are still playing it obviously but you lose that very first week interaction of people that were very excited to play this game and jump into it. as happens to a lot of games a lot of games always see that happen where the uh, initial reaction or the initial playthrough of it is the first weekend is going to be on and popping and everybody is seemingly on there but as the days goes on people lose interest because of things like this and sometimes never come back so i feel like bandai really dropped the ball on this in that sense and oftentimes there are elements within the game that do feel like okay this did did this get testing <laughs> was this tested at all to ensure this was functioning in a proper way that a video game should be working i don't know it's weird i'm still liking sparking zero but obviously that honeymoon phase is a little bit over and i'm starting to see and feel more of the flaws within the game and i think we're gonna have to make a video a separate video talking about that because there are some things i think need to be addressed not necessarily balancing purposes but just functionality within the game like the lock-on system is god awful straight up <laughs> i feel like i'm losing more matches just because my character doesn't want to lock on to people that are directly in front of me more so than anything else and then when i finally win a match it doesn't matter because they they've already rage quitted and i just wasted time they wasted my time and it does not put people in a good mood it kind of makes you just not want to not play the game anymore <laughs> but that's just the way i feel i want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below how are you feeling now that sparking zero has been out for a couple weeks and you got in your hands on the game and also what ranks are you guys currently i started off playing on pc but i switched to ps so currently trying to get those ranks back up in that sense be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more dragon ball sparking videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching